Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to change the time signature in the music pieces that you are creating in MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you will want to have MuseScore open and uh, have the piece that you're working on. The easiest way to change the time signature is to go over to the left hand side and then click on time signatures and that will open up the palette of time signatures here and so you can choose which time signature you want now let's say i want so currently the time signature is in 4 4 time if i want to change it to 2 4 time you see if i click it nothing really happens right so i can click these but nothing happens right so the easiest way to change this for the whole piece is just to click on the time and then drag it into the measure that you want it to change and so if you put that at the beginning of the piece, it would change uh, the time signature for the entire piece, okay? And so let's say I wanted to change the entire piece to 6-4 time. I would click on 6-4, again, drag and drop into the measure that I want. So now it's 6-4 time. Okay, let's go back to 4-4 time. Again, if it's got the whole measure selected, that'll work too. So we've got 4-4 uh, time again. And uh, so now let's say uh, you want to change the time signature in this measure, measure number two. Well, uh, right now it's 4-4 four, four for the whole thing. Uh, let's say I wanted to change the, the second measure to 5-4 time. So again, I take the 5-4, I go to the second measure, I let it highlight the measure for me, and then I let go. And then now it is at 5-4 time. So we've got 4-4, four, 5-4. Four, four. Now again, that... 5-4 will go throughout the rest of the piece. So let's say you wanted 4-4, 5-4, and then back to 4-4. So I take 4-4, drag, and drop. And now we've got the 4-4 for the rest of the piece. Okay, so that's how you change uh, the time signature in the score. But let's say uh, you, you want to change it to something you do not see here. Okay, now most of these are uh, time signatures are, are the most common. Um, but you can click here for more. And you'll see it gives you a couple more options. And again, you can drag these into the palette if you want. So let's say I want to use that one often, 7, 8. Now that's there. Let's say 2, 2. You just drag it and drop it. And now it will be in the palette for you for later. Uh, if you look down here at the bottom, it says create a time signature. So this is if you want to customize your own time signatures. And basically, it asks you for the um, you know amount of pulses or beats per measure. So let's say you wanted to do 7, 16 time signature. It's kind of a random one. So you would just push seven for the first one. And then the second one, you would do 16th. Okay. Now, just remember, you can change this value to just about any number you want to. Um, this one will need to be in one of these uh, numbers. And again, this is most standard for um, music. Again, uh, if you're, um, you know, not as familiar with time signatures, if you have a, if let's say this number is a one, that means that a whole note gets one beat or one pulse. If it's a two, that means a half note gets a one pulse or a one beat. The one that we're most common, most used to is four. So um, four means a quarter note gets one pulse and then so on and so forth. So again, uh, you can become familiar with that. Uh, but let's say seven sixteenth. So I've my, got my seven sixteenth time. And then I, you can also change the way it beams. If you'd like, I, I, most of the time it's gonna beam correctly. Um, but again, you can change that down here. But that looks correct to me, so I'm gonna press add. And then once I add, so I nothing happens, right? So it, it added, I clicked add, you have to go back over here to more, and you'll see it's there. So actually I, I clicked it twice, so it's there two times. So now um, I, I have it there two times. So let's say I, I only need one of those there. So I click on that, and I, let's say I wanna get rid of that one. I just click this little trash. Uh, can icon so I'll delete that and it'll ask me if I are you sure and I'll say yes so I'll go back over here to more and then there it is there's my 7 16th if I want to put it in my palette I just drag it up to the palette now it's up there in the palette uh, go back to my piece I want to add the 7 16ths remember you just click it drag and drop and so this is the easiest way to change the key signature uh, Muse score 3 really uh, makes it uh, simple uh, for changing uh, the key signature. There are more advanced settings with key signatures with um, spacing of the texts and and like the color of the text and those kinds of things. But for now, let's, w this lesson is just uh, for how to change the actual time uh, for the pieces that you are creating.
You now know how to change the time signature for the pieces that you are creating in MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, please uh, type them into the comments section below, and I will do my best to answer any questions you may have. I have other videos on MuseScore 3 that you might be interested in. I'll put the links on this video. Also, this lesson is part of my full, complete MuseScore 3 masterclass. I'll put the link in the description box if you're interested in that. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I thank you, and I will see you in the next video.